Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another fan-submitted replay. And uh, our replay for today was submitted by Mr. Menon. Down the bottom right side, he is a red Protoss player. And I'm not sure if he's red because he's angry or because that's the color the system automatically gave him. But I'm pretty sure he is out for some sort of vengeance in, or just, just, just generally to beat up people in this game. So, yes, and up the top left side of the map, it is Mr. Wallymoo. Wallymoo. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a crazy name, but anyway, we're just going to run with it. So, yes. Mm. Yeah, that's a very nice drink. So, anyway, this is actually a Silver League game. So, I have, I'm going to have to do my very, very best not to, uh, not to make Masters level analysis of this game like I tend to do so much when I'm casting low level games but I'm working on it okay I'm working on it and I think it's going to be right I think it's going to be a good game but yes as, as, as I have said before as far as fan submitted replays go by all means bronze silver gold if you think it's an awesome game then send it in alright it's if you think it's a boring game don't send it in because I don't want to cast them but you know if it's an awesome game Yes, I definitely want to cast those. So yes, we're going to be seeing exactly what happens in this game. We do have the probe coming around, doing a bit of a scout, hitting the worker, and Mr. Wallymoo has got a reinforcing worker coming out, and they're going to have a battle of the titans. But I think like, I think Wally was a little bit, a little bit ahead on the hits there, so should be alright. But now he's going to be building another barracks, and oh, this is not fun, man. Mr. Menon, going to have to run for it, but that's fine. So anyway, what has we got? <laughs> what have we got over here? Cybercore going down, very very nice. Another pylon going down. A little bit of supply count for that should be fine. Should be fine. And going around, having some fun with all of our friends is what these guys would be saying if they weren't too busy beating each other up for the hell of it. Man, Starcraft is a very violent universe. I wonder if there's any planets at all where they just try and live in peace and stuff like that. They probably were at some point, but then the Zerg just came and just started wiping them out. And I mean, Zerg, Zerg really are a-holes when you really stop to think about it. But the Protoss aren't much better and the Terrans are, uh, you know, they, they spend half their time trying to kill people, so... Uh, I just... But do you reckon? I mean, alright, so the Terrans, they got a lot of warriors and stuff and marines going around shooting everything. And then... They've got the planets where they're full of, like, what is it, Dr. Ariel and the campaign where the Doctor sort of just sat back and just wanted to live peacefully until the Zerg started wiping out a colony. I wonder if there's the same deal with Zerg and Protoss. Like, the Protoss, they have their war fleets, they have their war planets. Do the Protoss have places where they just sort of chill back and relax and just sort of farm all day and don't want to get wrapped up in this war and, uh... When the Zerg come, he's like, Zeratul, Zeratul, help us! You know, there's Zerg attacking us! And Zeratul like, dude, don't you have any Zealots or Stalkers or nothing? And they're like, no, no, we don't have any, man, please come help us. <laughs> and Zerg, man, do the... I, I feel like the Zerg probably don't have any worlds where they're just sort of, uh... They're just sort of peaceful, sitting back and, um... You know, sort of chilling out. Be nice if they did, but I don't think they do. I think they... I think the Zerg probably just all warriors. They're like, every single unit's a warrior. Even, even the passive ones, like the drones, man, they're all, they just get put into, uh, I don't know, slavery, or they just get programmed by the, uh, the queen to just, uh, go nuts on the mining and stuff like that. But I would like to see one of the Protoss planets where they actually have, you know, just no war at all. They're just, if they a Zerg came, they would actually need help from somebody because they're just so passive and like farmers and stuff like that. Mr. Wallymoo coming out with a bunch of stuff. He's got five Marines and a Marauder and a bunch more stuff coming over here. Mr. Menon does not have a whole lot. He does, Wallgate Tech is nearly up and we do have one gateway. So yeah, he's going to be in a bit of trouble right here. And he can sort of do something here, but that Marauder is going to make things very, very hard. And the second Marauder, I feel like Mr. Menon is in a lot of trouble. Although, only four Marines here, so the Mothership Corps could be a very contributing factor. There are only three Marines left, but that's still more than enough to take out the Mothership Corps. I think Mr. Menon's plan is to wipe out the Marines and let the Mothership Corps sort of finish everything off. Which could definitely happen, but three more Marines coming up, and that's going to be a very, very tough plan to put into action. 
Oh man, oh man, need a couple of gateways, need them ASAP. Put this into a warp gate, please. Man, why are you not building anything out of your warp gate? There we go, it's coming into a warp gate. So yeah, the Nexus is going to be let down. Uh, going for a Stalker. So there we go. We don't usually see any sort of high level sentry play in silver games, but in Masters level games, they'll definitely get a sentry, definitely put a force field. And that is that is something which, you you know, it's, it's good to start practicing when you're at a low level, but... Here we are going to be seeing some stalkers coming out. Oh, the cyber core and overcharging the Nexus. Great play, but they're out of range of the Nexus and they're still hitting the cyber core. That is bad. Because after that, you just got zealots left. Oh, yanking them into the Nexus uh, Nexus's shot range. Very nice job there by Mr. Menon. It's a good play, but his cyber core is still going to go down. And oh, that's bad. He can still warp these into gates though, but he can only build zealots at the moment and. Building another cyber core, that's going to take some time, just, man, bite the bullet, get some zealots out, there we go, zealots coming out, and if he gets the range, if he gets onto the ramp and just pushes out, I think maybe he can make something work with everything he's got now, three zealots, two stalkers, and a mothership core, I think he could make something work, but, I think he might still be in this game, I mean, you look at it, Maliwu is only just getting his expansion out now, so, I mean, Menon's not too far behind. Here you go, a couple more Zealots pushing him down to the low ground. And that is good, because once he's on the low ground, he can keep the Zealots on the high ground, just sort of scare him away. Oh, the, there's some nice Marauder Micro there, keeping those Zealots at bay. But, there's still, he's running out of units. The Stalkers are doing a lot of hits. I think they're faster than the Marauders, so that's making up for a lot. And the Zealots still going, and the Stalkers have stopped. I don't understand that, but regardless... Everything's gonna go down. The Marauder's like, damn these chunky arms. I wish I could lift them above shoulder height so I can start attacking stuff in the air, but it's just not meant to be. It's really not. Oh man, the Stalkers, they could take out the Marauder if they really wanted to. Waiting for a few more Stalkers, actually. So Mr. Menon is gonna try and turn it around, but I don't know if it's gonna work. There's a bunker. Oh, will the bunker be finished in time? Probably will be because Menon is not pushing on that hard. He is just building out a ton of uh, his own stuff. We do have a couple of sentries in there, so that's pretty awesome. And yeah, can he turn it around? I yeah, I, I'm feeling like not. I'm feeling like the bunker and the marines is just going to shred most of Menon's forces when they come in. I mean, with zealot legs, maybe it would be a different story, but he does not have zealot legs, and in fact, all most of his zealots have died. So yeah, I don't think it's going to work. So, yes, he is going to be getting his own base back up again, getting the macro going. Have a look at the income, and uh, Terran Player has got quite a bit of income. Oh, that Marine just didn't stand a chance. That was... Oh, so bad. So bad. Anyway, anyway, a couple more bunkers would probably be a good idea here, but is he thinking about drop play? Because you shouldn't be thinking about drop play when you've got this many units at the front. Oh, the Zealots coming in, providing a very, very nice thing at the front. Putting a force field down to try and stop this being repaired. It did not work that well. And here we go. Stalker's having to run at the end. He just lost a bunch of Zealous, but that's alright. Yeah, the main thing is, he's, uh, he's got his second base coming down. And that is going to be good. Because income-wise, he needs to start catching up. He's 12 behind. And that is not a good position to be in. Especially against a Terran player who has extra income from mules. Even without the murals, so... Yeah. And Dark Shrine. Oh, alright then. Okay. You think you, see, you can pull that off? Um, yeah, go for it. There's a missile turret there, though. And there's a missile turret there. And, yeah, those DTs are not going to work. But, of course, he doesn't know that. I don't think he knows that. Let's have a look. Yeah, he doesn't know there's a missile turret there. So, may, may, maybe. Maybe he thinks that'll work. Yeah, it's nice. It'll be good for shutting down the third base anyway, once it starts coming up. If he's, uh... If he starts to get aware of it, nice and early. But, yeah, what have we got going on? A bunch of stalkers. He's getting his out legs as well, which is very, very nice. He's got a ton of gas. Absolute ton of gas. He needs to start building, I don't know, immortals or something like that. Or getting into Colossus Tech. Colossus Tech would be brilliant right now. It really, really would. He's going for Dark Maybe, Maybe High Templar Tech would be good. Considering what he's got already, High Templar Tech would be quicker. And it's not as dependent on minerals as everything else is. So right now his mineral income is not... I mean, he's got a lot of gas, not so much minerals. So Colossus takes up a ton of minerals. High Templars not so much. So I reckon High Templars. 
be an excellent, excellent choice for Mr. Menon right now. But he is going for a bunch of DTs, and Maliwu has got the units on the field right now. He's looking very, very strong. 27 Marines, 5 Medivacs. Oh, Menon, man, forget the DTs. You are going to have to get some crazy stuff going on, unless these DTs force the army to come back, which they may very well do, because that's a lot of DTs. All right, moving in. There we go, going for the missile turret. Going for the workers, good stuff. They don't actually have enough attack upgrades to kill them in one shot, that's a bit unfortunate. DT's taking two shots to kill out a worker, man, that's not something I'm used to. It must need at least one attack upgrade to make that happen. But the workers are starting to go down here. Whoa, workers starting to go down. 14 so far versus only three. And here we go. They're not in scan range at the moment. Needs another scan. Does he have enough energy? I think he probably... No, not quite. And the DT's going nuts. Here we go. There's the scan going down. And suddenly... we still got two DT's up here, man. Ah, another scan going off. And the DT's do go down. But eventually they did take out 15 workers. And more importantly, they kept this army from coming into Mr. Menon's front base. But, man, you need an answer for that army, man. DTs are what I'm going to be saying you should be building. Malu has actually got zero minerals. How the hell did that happen? He must be trying to repair something. Must be repairing something and it's got nothing, um, no actual minerals left. So, anyway. Anyway, production-wise... Yeah, Mr. Man on Man, you need that high-level tech. I'm not going to say it again because I've said it like four or five times right now, but all right, I'll say it once more. You need something. Colossus or High Templar, you need it. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. And remember, Silver League, Silver League. i go. I got to keep remembering that stuff. All right, so Marines coming in. A bunch of uh, hunky-looking Marines. And Mr. Man, he does have Zealous with legs. He's starting to get Blink Stalkers as well. He needs a bunch more of these stuff. Five Pylons, that's pretty good. And, yeah, a bunch of zealots could do, they could do all right here. They could do fairly good. Oh, the DT. Oh, the DT. <coughs> Whoa. Excuse me a sec. Oh. Oh, man, that's, that, I just did not feel good at all just then. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, that was not good. I, I almost I almost choked. I didn't know what I was choking on, but that was not fun at all. But here we go. The Zealots did a great job at whittling these guys down, and the DTs are doing a great job at whittling down the rest. But, yeah, there we go. We don't mind taking out the rest, and the Nexus is overcharged. The DTs are going nuts, and Maliwu's got to be like, how the hell am I losing all of these forces? Because... Yes, it's DT's taking them all down, so DT's do end up saving the day eventually, and against um, against these massive armies, Mr. Menon is holding on, he's still keeping it alive, still keeping it going, and Mr. Maliwu, man, you got to be thinking about getting a third base, there we go, there's the third base, just zooming along, Mr. Menon has got his own third base, and he's... he's no, no, I'm Silver League. Silver, it's Silver League. I'm not going to say anything. But, alright, there we go. He got the robotics facility coming up. The robotics base, sorry. And this is going to be good, but he's going to need a ton of mineral income to really deal with this. And he's doing a pretty good job. 56 over 35. Maliwu, not really bulking up his worker numbers again. You feel like 35 is maybe all he needs, but... You know what? It's really not. You really need to get a few more workers out there, buddy. And... Yeah, here we go. Colossus are going to start to come out. He's already got two Robo Bays. Once he starts pumping these guys out, that is going to be awesome. So, uh, Mr. Menon, he's been behind a little bit in terms of the army. He's been sort of back against the wall quite a few times, but he's starting to really turn on all the correct dials, really starting to pump out everything. And I think mid-game, he's going to be quite formidable right here. And Mr. Maliwu, he's just... just um he has to just keep on, just keep on getting the right stuff. He's been doing a good job so far. He just needs to keep it going. And Vikings would not be a bad idea either. But yeah, get the production out, man. Get that production going. How many barracks does he have? Not enough, I feel like. He's got one, two, three. That's it. Yeah, oh, no, man. You need to get more of those bastards out. You need one. You need two. Where's his third one? I lost it. There it is. No, he's actually got four, sorry. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. 
but you need more. I mean, I would say six barracks or so at the least. Oh, the workers coming in and managed to save all the workers, but oh, a lot of, uh, did they really actually kill anything? I think they went for the Dark Shrine, didn't really get it down. So yeah, managing to save all of those workers though. Great, great job. I think he saved all of them because there's only four that's been lost so far. So yeah, I don't think there were that many mining there though because there's only two mineral patches left. But yeah, pretty nice. We do have a pylon coming down because why the hell not? 59 over 41. So it looks like Mr. Malibu has got a bunch of workers back up, which is good. But he needs to, he needs to keep pushing them out. He doesn't he might, may not realize how far behind he is on the income. He's not actually that far. I mean, he's behind on the gas, but he's ahead on the minerals because of the mules. He's got to be because of the mules. I mean, he's got three mules, so that makes up for it. But, man, the mules eventually do die, and the workers of uh, Mr. Menon uh, do not. So, yeah, very nice. Here we go. The uh, I think there's third or fourth time the main army has moved out from Mr. Menon, but we do have two Colossus coming out, and we've already got two Colossus on the field. Only 1-1, one, one, but 2-2 two, two is on the way. Mr. Maliwu already has 2-2, two, two, and he's looking pretty awesome. So, uh, I just do not know. I think with the introduction of Colossus and Immortals, I feel like... I mean, Mr. Menon has been hanging on with less than the army he needs, and now I think he's got the army he needs. I think he should be fine. He's even getting a couple of high Templar. No Storms yet, but he's jumping them all into Archons, which is not a bad idea at all. Here we go, he's going to be side slaving these guys, and the Colossus is going to be going in, doing some damage. And Mr. Maliwu, man, you need some Vikings right now. He's got to realise that, and we'll see how many of them he actually builds. But, I mean, yeah, maybe, if he doesn't build Vikings, he's lost the game. It's as simple as that. It really, really is, so he's got to start building them. And if he doesn't build them, then, yeah, he's going to lose. Anyway, let's have a look. What do we got going over here? Bunch of zealots coming into the base. There's a bunker. There's nobody in it. The zealots are going to attack it anyway because they're not too bright. But, yeah, it's fine. Everything's going to start to go down. The workers trying to get out, but there's a wall of zealots in the way. And this base, oh, man, not good at all. We're down to 23 workers lost for the Terran. And his economy is just, oh, suffering, man. It is suffering. Lift this thing up, dude. Oh man, oh man. There we go, lifts it up. We're gonna mule it up to repair it, but hello, who's still here that's gonna destroy the mule in two seconds? That's right, they are zealots, and the mule goes down. Where's mule number two? We need a backup mule, the first mule kind of got owned. Uh, lifts it down, where's... It needs a couple of mules, it's gonna go down, it's gonna get destroyed. There it goes, the mules come down. We're gonna repair it. Beautiful, beautiful. This this one's kind of mining though. I don't know what that guy's doing. So yeah, very, very nice attack. And the income is starting to suffer here for Maliwu. And uh, it's really, really taken off for Mr. Menno. Still building workers? Sort of still building workers. He's got 3-3 on the way. Maliwu is almost going to have 3-3 ready. But until he gets an answer for this Colossus, I just feel like, you know what? It's, it's not going to matter. I mean, Banshees... I feel like he's not getting that as an answer for the Colossus. Because that's... That's that's not an answer for the Colossus, man. It really isn't. Where are the Vikings? Where's the Vikings? I mean, this... I mean, alright. Granted, these guys are not Masters level players. But this, this is StarCraft 101. The counter for Colossus is Vikings. There's... there's this is, is, that's not a high level strategy, everybody should know that, really, really should know that. You see Colossus, you get Vikings. There's no complexity to that strategy at all, it really isn't. It's just standard, straightforward, dude, what are you doing? Uh, that's, uh, I guess there's one way to kill Colossus, but he can't count on that happening for the other three, so he's really got to get some Vikings out there. Meanwhile, M Mr. Menon finally getting some uh, storms out. Oh, the raven. Is there a raven? Yes, there is a raven. So he finally got uh, sick of get, seeing all those DTs in his base. Killing stuff. DT going for the missile turret, man. Do not waste your time. Go for the workers. Oh, there we go. One worker, two workers, three workers, four workers. A lot of workers going down. And meanwhile, the main army just coming in. Yes, there is a raven over there. Oh, the storms just... And the Colossus is going to finish this army off. 
that was bad for Maliwu, man. That was very bad. He was expecting the Colossus. He was not expecting the Storms. And he just got totally ruffle stomped right there. There is a Raven Mum coming down. Manages to move the Colossus away in a bit of time. Very, very nice presence by Mr. Venom. Very nice micro. And manages to finish it off. And I have to say, Maliwu right there did not know how to counter the Colossus. And if he had got Vikings out, he could have held on a bit longer. I feel like he probably would have eventually still lost, kind of, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. He, he had two definite downsides to his play side. Two definite ones. A, he didn't get any Vikings. B, he didn't have enough barracks. I mean, we have a look at this, right? He was building a few more. So he had one, two, three, four. He's built a few more, but didn't get reactors. I mean, all you have to do is look at the resource he had. He should have been building off seven, eight barracks constantly. Day in, day out. Get a couple of Stargates with some reactors, I mean, just go big, go huge, if you've got 4,000 minerals, you need to go bigger, you really, really do, I mean, you just build, like, if you're on the Protoss side, for example, Mr. Menon, I mean, build six more gateways, how many gateways has he got, uh, we're not showing up here, all right, let's have a count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight gateways is good, but still, look at all these minerals, man. Go big. Get a third robo facility. I mean, get four more gateways. Go up to 12. 12 is my favorite number for uh, building off gateways, man. When I got max income, I'm just like, yes, 12 gateways. And this is, why, why not? Just, there's really no reason why not. So just go for it. And they're both these players suffering from having too much income. And, well, not too much income, just not enough production, really. But... You know what? Eventually, Mr. Menon, he went for a beautiful strategy. Colossus, Archons of Mortals, DT, Aggression. Very, very nice for the entire game, as well as the Zealot Aggression to go along with it. And, yeah, he, he did a fantastic job. And I feel like even facing Vikings, he still would have uh, come out ahead. But, all right, that is it. That's beautiful stuff, man. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching this game. Great job from both players. Uh, especially Mr. Menon, of course, who uh, sent in the replay and won the game. And anybody out there, if you play an awesome game, it doesn't have to be a game which I think is awesome. It's a game which you think is awesome. And I will cast it because, yeah, there we go. Just send it in. I will cast it. It'll be awesome. So thank you very much for watching this game. And stay tuned. Uh, we'll be casting more fan-submitted replays in the future. Assuming people send in replays, because obviously I can't cast them if you don't send in a replay. Anyway, this has been that game. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. This has been Harry Muppet.